Suffering was the price he paid to reach the lost, including those in Corinth. You see, if Paul had moved back to Tarsus and gotten himself a nice cushy job uh, teaching uh, the children of some wealthy uh, uh, Roman, uh, tutoring, he wouldn't have been uh, shipwrecked. He wouldn't have been in peril of robbers and perils of his own countrymen. He wouldn't have been uh, uh, beaten with 39 stripes five times. He wouldn't have been beaten with rods three times. He wouldn't have been in cold and in hunger and in sleeplessness. He wouldn't be chased like a rabbit at a, a, a greyhound race. But he was all those things for your sakes, he says to the church, and ultimately for the glory of God. That grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. The more people who are reconciled to God through Paul's ambassadorship, as painful as it may be at times, the more thanksgiving will be offered and the more God will be glorified. Look at verses 16 and 18, to 18. Therefore we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. Things which are seen are temporary. The things which are not seen are eternal. Paul doesn't lose heart. Why not? Because he knows that what blessings are coming, uh, he knows what blessings are coming to the lost through his gospel message, however difficult it is for him. Secondly, he knows uh, that although his outward man is perishing, yet his inward man was being renewed day by day. His outward man was perishing. Where'd you get that scar, Paul? Oh, well, let's see. That would have been Ephesus. Why? Well, how come you have that limp? Oh, that limp, that was from the stoning I got in Lystra. His body was perishing. But inwardly, he was being renewed day by day. And then he knew what was awaiting him. That was the other thing that kept him going. <laughs> and he had a tremendous benefit there, right? Because he had actually been caught up to heaven. He saw what you and I have not yet seen. He saw things that were, he said, I can't even tell you about them. They were so glorious. He knew what was awaiting him. He reckoned that the sufferings of this present time were not worthy to be compared to the glory that would be revealed in him. Romans 8. In other words, why should Paul or any other Christian fear death? When Jesus promises, he that lives and believes in me shall never die. Moment by moment, I'm kept in his love. Moment by moment, I have life from above. Looking to Jesus till glory doth shine. Moment by moment, O Lord, I am thine. 